I am Martin, and right now I'm in Perth, Western Australia. What's your name? Um, I'm Marina. Nice to meet you. Oh, glad to meet you. What time is it in London right now? Um, it's 20 to 11 a.m. Do you live in London? Um, yes, for the moment, but I'm not from London. Oh, well, in my, in my city here in Perth, Western Australia, it's about 2 or 30 minutes before sunset. I'm going to be your guide today. We are about to enter an imaginary time. We will imagine that we're at the beginning of time. Let's assume that time and light have always been related. We could say they began simultaneously. Time is measured by the rotation of our planet, around its own axis, and that's why we have days, and around the sun, and that's why we have seasons. Before clocks existed, people would orient themselves in time by the apparent motion of the sun. And it's a specially built building to house some bells that we actually pinched off the uh, English about 450 years ago, some bells in some art the fields. Aha, uh -huh. fair enough. Can you see the sun? Um, I can't really see it, but maybe if I go there. No. Give the sun a bit of a wave, or you can greet it any way that you want. So let's give the sun a bit of a greeting. Okay. Now this is my shadow. Uh, well, yes, a bit, even though I think it's a bit cloudy. Okay, just, a, just enough to keep it going. That's a good Christmas star up there, and there's the moon. <laughs> Eventually, the sun will also die, and that will be the end of time. Real and imaginary alike. So, in case we don't destroy the planet and pull then, the sun will be our death star. Okay, so we switched over and... So. Hi there, nice to see you. Now it's nice to walk with you through the big city. 